Thank you for taking your time today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for um, um, coming all the way and uh, um, uh, trying to um, uh, get the opinion of someone that is living into nature. Yeah, yeah. So we don't know the conversation, where this conversation goes, but yeah, it's yeah. kind of improvisation. So anyway, I'm, I'm asking our partners how they are living with nature and how, do they, how they respect nature. So, and I remember your family is always growing olive in yes. land property. So nature is very important to your family. For us, uh, it's um, a part of our history mm -hmm. as a family. Since we are um, owning this land for many centuries and it is staying in, always in the family, uh, so we have a big respect for, um, for nature because we feel blessed. Um, if you look around, everything is so beautiful. So um, it is a blessing to live in uh, such an environment. Uh, and one other thing I say also to a lot of visitors that come to the farm, as I elaborate a little bit uh, about uh, the olive trees and their um, um, circle of life, and which is actually much, much longer than the human circle of life. Uh, so what I tell to the visitors is that I am not the owner of the olive trees. Mm -hmm. I am just a manager for a very short period of their circle of life. So my job is to take the olive trees from my ancestors and pass them to my children and grandchildren and maintain them uh, in, um, as I took them. So I am just taking, passing. So they are actually probably owning me and I am not owning, owning the olive trees. <laughs> Is the opposite. <laughs> I see. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, you have what, what? What do you have? So you have olive trees and uh, some kind of animals. We have well the main the main part of the farm is the olive groves. Yeah. Um, there are uh, this is about something less than half of the property. Mm -hmm. Uh, the rest uh, is a part of it is fields that we use for um, uh, making uh, hay for our uh, animals and uh, there is also a part that is forest land. Mm -hmm. uh, both of them are very important because they contribute to the balance of the farm uh, so we need to keep both field land and forest land and not um, uh, interfere with the balance. Uh -huh. So are you caring about the number of animals per hectare? Um, to be honest, no, we don't because the animals we have are very few. So, and mainly they are for um, domestic uh, use and recreational use. So we have the horses for recreation. We do not use them in the food chain. And uh, then there are other animals like uh, pigs or goats or sheep are in a very small scale and mainly for our family and friends. And this way we do have some animals in the farm, but they are not like um, an intensive uh, kind of 
animal breed that is also um, that this might also affect the, um, the olive groves and the natural balance. Mm -hmm. So the animals are uh, scattered around and you don't actually realize that there are uh, so many animals because they are not um, in a, let me say, a mass production type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. It was always a custom for Greek families living in the countryside to have their own small, let me say, farm economy. So they always, they used to have a few animals so they could have their own milk, maybe make a little bit of cheese, yeah. um, maybe also have um, uh, some uh, good quality meat. Mm -hmm. So this was the idea, chicken for the eggs, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. And this is how we try and keep it. Mm -hmm. oh, interesting. So it's just a part of the family.